Oh, I'm so glad you brought up dairy. I, I do love my dairy. I need to keep, I keep the like, okay, I'm off it except butter. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say this. We have to look at what happens in the body and how the body is digesting and um, processing dairy. So okay. there's a couple of things. Dairy is really highly processed and it goes through a lot of heating and it kills a lot of the enzymes that we need to actually digest the dairy. So it's pretty much illegal in the United States to sell raw milk. Um, mm -hmm. So that would be a better option. However, if you look at our gut, and you look at the way um, what dairy is for. Dairy is for growing a baby really quickly. Right. Okay. So there are a lot of growth hormones naturally occurring in dairy, not because of the hormones that they add and all of that stuff. But the purpose okay. is to grow like an 80 pound calf to an 800 to a thousand pound cow in like eight months. All right. Okay. So I don't know about you, but I am really not trying to become an 800,000 pound cow. Right. The <laughs> hormones in the milk are that is what the purpose is for. Mm -hmm. And so. You know, there is no time that a, a, a another species was drinking another mammal's milk. Like there, no mm -hmm. other, no other mammal does that. Okay. And there's a reason why there is a weaning stage, right? So, if you think about casein, it's the large protein molecule in milk that we have a really hard time digesting. Mm -hmm. And by the age of five we start to lose the enzyme that helps us digest casein because that's okay. kind of when we're pretty much done nursing, right? Right, yeah. Uh, if you look at cow's milk, there's 32 times more casein in cow's milk than there is human breast milk. Oh, wow. Right? 32 times. And if you look at goat's milk, it's about 16 times more. If you look at sheep's milk, it's almost equivalent to human breast milk. So for me... Um, I'm mostly dairy free, but there are okay. times when I might eat dairy and that would be like if I'm going to have some manchego cheese or some mm, feta so cheese, no, mm -hmm. mostly sheep's milk. Okay. And um, I don't really find that I have issues with that, but I have some patients that can't tolerate that either. And, you know, until we get dairy completely out, then we, we don't really see those inflammatory markers go down and blood sugar regulated. So um, okay. for me, I'm mostly dairy free. My patients, I really make them um, dairy free for the most part. And if you're going to splurge, uh, sheep's milk would be the best option. Okay. And what, what's your thoughts about butter? Um, well, okay. So butter, I use butter. Um, but I make sure, and I make butter from my, I have, I have a ranch and I have my own dairy cows. And so I'll make Love butter from their milk. Um, yeah. and there's some things about a, my cows are a two, a two. It's a genetic typing where their casein is a little bit different. Okay. Um, I don't think enough research, but I, the research I've seen shows less inflammation. So I'll make right. butter from my cow's milk. Okay. Um, not all the time. Cause I'm super busy. Yeah, like that. <laughs> um, it seems like a lot of work. <laughs> a lot of work. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> so, um, and you know, you got to get out there before the babies drink the cow's milk. So, um, sure. sometimes I'm not very, I don't do that very often, but, um, a better option, and I use it more often, is using SCT oil, and that stands for short chain triglycerides, and it's yeah. very healing to the gut. It contains butyrate, and essentially, um, there's only one company that I know of in the U.S. called Happy Healthy Guys, and um, they have created a product, and they have a really good story. Um, it's called SCT oil, but they take the dairy from organic, grass-fed, non-GMO, all the things, cows. Yeah. And they go yeah. through a 10-step filtration process where they take out the casein, they take out the lactose, and it's really just all that good, healthy fat. And that's what I really prefer to use on a daily basis. And that's what okay. we put our patients on as well, especially okay. because those short-chain fatty acids really heal the gut, um, mm -hmm. heal it greatly. Yeah, I've that's awesome. I do like butter and that doesn't seem like I won't binge butter. It's very hard to binge butter where it's very easy to binge cheese. <laughs> it is very easy to binge cheese. Yes, that's for sure. 
Um, but I did try MCT oil and my, my gut was not happy with that, but that was before I was knew how to fix it. So, but SCT yeah. oil. Okay. All SCT right. oil, you have a lot less issues with gut. The other thing about MCT, I mean, I use MCT as well, but yeah. MCT oils are not all made the same. There are some MCT oils that are highly refined and actually the medium chain uh, triglyceride, it can be anywhere from 12 to six uh, carbon yeah. molecules long. And the higher the molecules, like the more like 10 to 12 molecules, the gut has to break those down into short chain fatty acids. And that's when people get diarrhea and you have to really watch how much you can tolerate. But there are some MCTs, like I like the one from Bulletproof. Now I don't make any money off of that at all, but they have one that's brain octane. And I think that theirs is like six to eight carbon molecules long. I've never had any digestive issues with that. Oh, okay. And then the short chain, the beauty of that is that that's like four carbon, two to four carbon molecules long. And so I've never had anybody have digestive distress from that. Okay, cool.